Imagine if you just woke up in a bed and you can't remember a single thing from your old life. Well, that's what happened to Chase Ambrose. Hi guys, today I'm going to tell you my thoughts on the book Restart. This book is about a teenager who goes to Hiawassee High School named Chase Ambrose. One day he falls off the roof and he gets amnesia so he can't remember a single thing. And when he goes to school, kids have very different responses to him. Some kids treat him like a hero. Others treat him like a bully. Like one girl even dumped frozen yogurt on his head. But soon the question is not who he was, but who he will be. And it's about Chase's journey to find out if he can be a new person instead of the old school bully that he used to be. What I really liked about this book is that it's humor is like i love its humor it's so funny um it is like the language they use is just so funny for me and the way they talk and how the story goes through the plot and i also thought that this book had some real life situations like there was a kid named joe who chase ambrose had bullied at school and some of these situations i think are very real life um, what I thought could be better about this book was that I personally wanted a bit more details on Joel Weber, which is one of the kids that Chase Ambrose bullied at school. I wanted more details on him because it basically tells, oh, this kid is obsessed with music and Chase Ambrose bullied him. It doesn't really give me too much on that, but it's one of the very focused characters in this book, and I would like to see more details on that. I would recommend this for adventure readers, but this book is also kind of personal. It tells Chase's journey throughout um, the story. It tells his journey if he can become a better kid and unlike the bully he used to be, be more nice to others. So I thought this book was kind of touching for me too. And overall, it is pretty fast paced. There are, it is lots of action, but as I said, the scenes are not all action. There's lots of funny scenes like frozen yogurt, Chase jumping off the roof, getting amnesia. And um, overall, I think it's for adventure readers. But if you just want a touching, fast-paced book, this would definitely be for you. Gordon Corman has wrote a few other books, I believe, such as Untouchables, Ungifted. One of them, I read the series, Masterminds. There's three books in the series. I thought that was cool as well. Um, Gordon Corman's style of writing is more like humor and action, but I think that I really enjoyed his humor, and it's one of the things that kind of make his book stand out to me. The characters in this book include Shoshana Weber, who is the brother of Joel Weber, and um, she is actually the girl who dumped frozen yogurt on Chase's head when he just came to school. There's Aaron and Bear, who are, um, they used to be part of Chase's bullying gang as well. Um, there's also the music teacher, I think, I forgot, I think she's Miss DeLeo. And then there's Brandon Espinoza, head of the school video club. Compared to Gordon Corman's other books, this book is not as action-packed. There is still lots of typical Corman humor. Um, this book is more of a, um, it's a very kind of emotional book, I think, compared to his other books like Masterminds. Um, my favorite character in this book would be two. First of all, it would be Brandon Espinoza, who played a very big role in it. He was head of the video club. He led Chase into the video club where he met Shoshana Weber, Joel Weber, after he came back from his music school called Melton. And uh, I really liked Brandon Espinoza as a character, and he was really funny to me as well. I also really liked Mr. Solway, who is um, also a decisive role in this book because uh, Chase does a video with Shoshana in the video club after they kind of start getting along. They, um, they do a video and it's about Mr. Solway who won in a very famous award. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a very famous award. And um, I like the way he, he um, speaks. It's like, hold on one cotton picking minute. And he speaks very interesting and I like his style. If I would recommend a book for anyone who wants to read Corman books, um, it would probably be 
Untouchables because the book sounds really interesting to me and I've read a bit of it but I haven't completely finished it. Well, I would definitely want to finish, um, I would want to finish Untouchables but then I probably will want to read another one of his quite famous books, Swindle. Um, yeah, I would probably want to read that. If you guys have read the book, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Please tell me and leave a comment below and thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like.